Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I'm a manifestation and solar alignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I'll be talking about how you are already that which you want to be in identity why but before we get started just a quick reminder that i offer both email and video coaching so if you need help in manifesting any of your desires or in releasing any of your blogs you definitely want to check out all my coaching options they are in the description below and i'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you'd like to receive a notification anytime i upload a new video so today's video is inspired by the experiences of two different clients who were getting coaching from me this week and i thought i would talk about it because it's a very important point now if you know i've been talking about the whole concept of identity x versus identity y for the past few weeks and i think this really helps understand states and what we're choosing in any given moment and identity X reflects the identity of the person who does not have their desire. It's the identity of the person who somehow sees themselves as flawed or sees that they're lacking something. They're seeing the 3D and giving it importance. They are even judging their own actions and behaviors. That's also one of the things that is part of X. So it's a flawed view of self of who you are and your actions and by consequence your 3d is a mirror of that identity y reflects the identity of the person who does have their desire who is perfect exactly as they are who literally is in the right state in the state of the wish fulfilled and i filmed a video last week and said you are by default in why you are perfect exactly as you are you're in why by default you are that that's who you are you're created in the image of all that is and that's who you are you're the one who is choosing x by overthinking by activating those thoughts that are not real they're not real they appear to be real because you're manifesting it, but they are not your truth. And anything that doesn't feel good is not your truth. I want to emphasize that. Anything that does not feel good is not your truth. It's not real. It's not reality as you've intended to experience it. I got a bit off. I'll go back to the experiences of my two clients. So both of them are in the process of manifesting several desires. And they were telling me that they were having difficulty holding the state. You never need to hold it because by default, you are in it. You are it by default, but then you choose to activate X momentarily. It's momentarily because even when you talk about the cork, Abraham Hicks talks about the cork floating in water. It floats in water by default. That's you by default. What you're doing is you're pushing it down with your thoughts. So what's happening is you're by default in why. And then when you're activating your thoughts and you're, you're overthinking, you're overanalyzing, you're giving importance to the 3D, you're feeling like you don't have something or you have not manifested something or you're in that state of lack, you're choosing X. You're activating it momentarily, but your natural state is Y. By default, you are in Y. You never have to hold it. You are it. You're just not choosing it. You're choosing X and momentarily choosing it because it's your permanent state. Let's put it that way. It's your permanent state. My clients were saying they were having difficulty holding the state. You're, you're not, you're automatically in the state. And if you are not feeling it, because you know, sometimes you don't feel it. I've been there. And then I realized, yeah, the only reason I'm not feeling it is because I, fe I feel there's something I need to do to feel it. There's nothing you need to do to feel it because you automatically activate the beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions 
of why. There's nothing for you to feel except to recognize that you think there's something you need to do to feel it. It's again you being an X. So forget being an X and Y. I don't want you to feel like, oh, I'm shifting. It's just what's going on. You are already here by default. There's nothing for you to do. When you're going out running errands and doing things or spending time with friends or doing things that you enjoy, pursuing hobbies, you're naturally in that state. That's why I always say, follow your highest excitement. You're naturally by default in that. But when you pause and you start to think and you start to think, oh, I need to get into the state, guess what? You're getting into X. That's the only thing that causes you to not be in the state. There's nothing for you to do to get into the state. This is also why I always emphasize you never have to do practices or techniques because when you think that that's the only way I'm going to get into the state, you're also going into X. So this is the key thing. You're by default in Y. You're by default in Y. So let's look at a practical example because this all seems a little conceptual at this stage. Let's say you got this desire to start a new business. You suddenly had this inspiration and it's suddenly something you want to experience and you get that idea. Already you are that person who has that business, that successful business by default because you would not even have that desire if it was not something that you're meant to be and experience. And by default, you are it. Just the 3D needs to then match that. If you just go with it and trust that that idea is there for you to experience it, it's going to unfold and you're going to suddenly have people who come in, who will help you maybe with it. Opportunities will show up. Suddenly the resources will show up for you. If you just go with it, know it's done. Know you already are that. Just by having that desire, you already are that. You can apply this to any other desire, whatever it is. The mere fact that you have that desire, you're it already. Because you're all, you're created in the image of all that is. You are all that is. And you already have that ability to experience it. How is it that you go into X? Because by default, you're in Y. You choose X when, let's say, you say, well, you know, I have this exciting idea, but I don't think I'm qualified to do this. I don't have the skills. Who am I to start this kind of business? I don't see how I can do it. What if I fail? Oh no, what if I succeed and I become someone different? Or what if I succeed and I can't keep it up and then I fail? So you see how you're, you're activating all kinds of doubts and fears and thoughts that stem from X. And so you're taking yourself out of Y. You're in Y by default. You're taking yourself out of Y temporarily. This is what I want to emphasize. X is a temporary experience based on what you are choosing to think about. When you're overthinking, when you're getting in your head, when you're getting into your fears, this is the thing. The physical mind has no business interfering with the unfolding of your manifestations. The physical mind, as Bashar explains it, is just something that helps you perceive physical reality. It's not meant to guide you. Your higher mind is automatically by default guiding you and keeping you in why. Your higher mind is keeping you in why and it's keeping you by sending you signals, follow your highest excitement. It's helping you navigate through the unfolding of it all. It's all unfolding perfectly. But you're the one who's choosing X. And when you're choosing X, you're activating the beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions of that. And you just can't see it anymore temporarily until you stop and decide I'm going to focus on something else and bam, you're back in Y. It's like that cork. You're pushing it underwater when you're in X temporarily. When you just remove your finger from it, it, it pops back up to the top, to the surface. So this is what I told my clients. You never have to hold the state. You're in it by default. 
you are it by default. You're the one who thinks I need to hold it. And when you think that, you're an ex because you're feeling there's something I need to do to be here. There's nothing you need to do. You're there by default and everything is unfolding to make it happen. Just when you overthink, when you get into your head and you over identify with X because you're you're activating all these beliefs, thoughts, emotions and actions, it feels hard from there. And when I tell you pause and reboot, which is I explain it in the Trinity video, it's so that you can deactivate that. You're, you're to be able to sh shift back into why, but actually you shift back automatically. But when the thoughts are super there, you need to disconnect from them and you disconnect with, from them through the pause and reboot exercises that I gave in my Trinity video. It's how you deactivate them. It's an active state that you can deactivate, but by default, you are in the state of the wish fulfilled. So when you don't have that active, bam, you're here automatically. It's like this. Sometimes we think it's harder than it is, and then we then take ourselves out of that state momentarily. Again, it's a momentary state. So you're the one who is choosing this. And if you just let it go, just let it go, just pause and reboot. If it's super active within you, that's why sometimes you're able to flip it. You're able to flip. You perceive that you're flipping. By default, you're here. But in the end, you're flipping when you realize that, you know what, I'm the operant power and bam, you're back here. You're back here. You realize it. And you have that ability to choose. You go into that neutral state which is part of the Trinity, which then allows you to be back here by default. And that point of neutrality is skewed in the direction of the positive. So all you're really doing is just bringing yourself back into your natural state. That's all that you're doing. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please like, comment and share. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.